All right, so today I'm going to install, I got this uh, light kit from SF Solutions. And I just was going to give you a quick install video um, to tell you how I like them. Now you can see in the kit, it's a little different than the tiny bright lights kits that they used to sell. And, you know, that company, I guess they went out of business or something. They don't make them anymore. So SF Solutions is pretty much our only choice, which is fine. Uh, the price is cheaper. What you'll notice is that it's got a connector. Instead of using the battery connector, it plugs directly into your um, 6100 uh, brain. And I'll show you me doing that. But then also one of the things that you'll notice is that this, there is no computer board. Now, that's good and bad. Uh, the bad thing is it does not allow you to have any flashing lights, which, of course, you know I love the flashing lights. But um, the good thing is it's much simpler, and it also... Um, makes the whole unit lighter, so it's going to affect flight a lot less than having that circuit board. makes it easier to install, too. So anyway, you're going to start by cutting your airplane open, and I've already started a little bit, but you basically, with, um, this is the polecat, um, you're going to cut these stickers on the front. you got to cut them in half along the line, and then you've got a piece of tape right here that needs to be cut. And then back here on the back, you're going to cut this with an X-Acto knife. So I'm going to go ahead and do those cuts, and I can't really film while I'm doing it, so I'm going to put the camera down. Here you can see, this is I believe that this is the X port. This port's completely different shaped. This one's got three pins, that one's got four, and our light kit has three. So I'm going to assume that this is going to be my X port. And what I'm going to do is they suggest running the wires down through the battery tray, you know, down here, and then coming back up. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to run it right along the edge of this wing. I'm going to put my headlight here, and then the red light, obviously, on this wing tip. Maybe I'll notch it in here, and then the green on that side. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to run the blue light up to the top area of this tail, like up in here, as opposed to putting it on the back. Um, because I want to, you know, if it's darker out, I want to get a little bit more orientation. This will put it, help me know which way, if the airplane's upside down or right side up, um, as opposed to just seeing the back. I can figure out it's the back of the plane. So uh, I think that's what we're going to do with that. So I'm going to go ahead and put the wires in, and then I'll show you how I did them once I'm done. One of the things that I wanted to point out was a reminder that um, you're going to need to put a battery, plug a battery in while you install because then you can see what color the lights are. Now I will say these are nice. These look just like the tiny bright lights. I don't necessarily like the blue but whatever. I wish you'd do two whites instead of a blue but you know it is what it is. Uh, it looks like a nice light kit though so far. I really like how lightweight it is and I'm gonna go ahead and tape all this up and show you how I did it when I get done. Okay so here's the final installation. You can see the uh, I just went around the leading edge here and went into the body there. And um, went over here with the green and then put the blue on the top of the tail. And you can see the line running along there. It's not, you know, like I said, it doesn't make the airplane look great close up. But I fly a lot. This airplane really likes the calm air at dusk and sunrise. So, you know, there's light out there, but this just makes it look really cool when it's flying. I don't... I'm not necessarily expecting to fly this at nighttime with these lights, but it's a neat effect uh, to add to the aircraft and really jazzes it up in the sky. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I'm excited about this. It'll be fun. I've, I've used these lights on several other aircraft, as you've seen in some of my videos, and um, they really do add to the way the plane looks. So I'll put it back together here, and then you can see it finished. You can see the cool lights along with the tape along the leading edge. <laughs> But uh, all in all, it's a pretty cool little kit. Uh, once again, if you have like a Champ or an older P-51 Mustang, though, I think that one actually has the one it works with. So double check on their website. I know for a fact it doesn't work with the Champ because this one actually plugs into the, the board and the Champ does not have an outlet for it. Um, this may work with the MCX-2 also, the helicopter, but uh, no guarantees on that one. But I think all in all, it looks pretty cool, and it adds, it really adds to the aircraft. One of the things you'll notice I did, like I did before, um, and I'll turn, well, I notched the wing. There you go. So you can see it from the top and the bottom. It's visible. Same with the light. It's visible from the top and the bottom. Though it's not, this one, for whatever reason, it sat back a little bit. It's not very visible from the bottom, but 
the red's visible, the green is visible, the blue is visible from both sides. So it's a nice light kit. Um, like I said, I, I do a lot of evening flying, so it uh, it really adds to the look of the aircraft. It's not necessarily a, a foolproof way to fly at night. Um, you could try it, but even then, because these airplanes move fast, it's hard to tell which way you're going. So, uh, but it's a cool looking little kit, and you know, at 18 bucks, it's a, it's a great deal. So once again, it's SF Solutions. Uh, you'll have to look um, online. SF I think is short for San Francisco because that's where it's shipped from. So SF solutions is the, the company that makes this i just wanted to add a little um piece at the end here to point out i've been saying it wrong it's actually sf design solutions is the name of the company okay i got to fly last night four times with the lights uh i have to say i don't mind the blue light as much as i thought i would and it worked really well i flew um from sunset until probably maybe 30 to 40 minutes after sunset so it was getting you know pretty evening-ish out there it was the sky was still blue it wasn't you know night out i don't know that i would fly this airplane at night because it flips and turns so easily um that it probably would be pretty easy to get disoriented uh if it was pitch black out so i won't be doing that i've done that with some of my other planes with the tiny bright lights kit um but this one i don't i don't trust this airplane it's not the light kit it's the airplane i'm afraid of um flying in the complete dark but it worked really well it looked really cool you know to see it up there and the moon's out and you'd see this lighted airplane flying around doing stunts and uh it was a very joint enjoyable experience we, we are going to get some video of it in the upcoming weeks um we have another video that we're working on right now for a contest and then once that's done uh, mark and i will go ahead and move into um getting some more of the airplane uh, videos done so uh, anyway have a great day thank you for watching